Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. And today's I will discuss to make three is to eight decoder using two is to four decoder. So, but before that, I have made video on a two is to four decoder with enable input. So, I repeat with enable inputs. So, please have a look on that video. I have given the link in the description box. Now, let's check how we will use two is to four decoder to make three is to eight decoder. Okay, two is to four decoder. So we will need two number of a two is to four decoder with enable. So we have one and this one is two. Two is to four decoder. Two input here also two input and four output lines. Four output lines. Okay. So we will need two number of two is to four decoder with enable input. So why we need enable input? So we have seen that for three is to eight decoder, we need three input lines. Okay, so to make three input lines, we need two two is to eight decoder with enable. So that if we will take a two is to four decoder with enable, we have to take with enable. Now we have seen that after adding enable input to the decoder, when the value of enable equal to zero, the decoders are disabled. Means it will not work. And when the value of enable is one, decoder is active. So to make three is to eight decoder, we need three input okay three is to eight decoder we need three input lines and here it will be eight output lines this will be the output lines and this will be the input lines okay so here in this diagram we will add one enable line okay so first one is with negation this one is the enable line and other one is will go to here e and here it will come after negation e y so i have named these like d0 d1 d2 d3 till d7 and input will be like a0 and a1 these both are same we can uh, take the line from a0 here and from a1 here but uh, for the clear picture i have written here a0 and a1 okay so now when i will give the value e equal to 0 so after negation it will be here 1 okay means this whole circuit will be active and this will be 0 then it will disable it will not work okay so from the diagram we can see that when e equal to 0 first decoder will be on and second decoder will be disable right so when e equal to 1 here we will get 0 means this will not work this will disable and when e equal to 1 it will work means this decoder will be active right now let's check few input and output first case is when e equal to 0 a and a1 and a0 both are 0 so when e equal to 0 means here we are getting 1 and the first decoder will be active and it will act as a normal decoder so when a equal a1 and a2 both is equal to 0 d0 will be on okay now e equal to 0 a1 equal to 0 and a0 equal to 1 for this case again e equal to 0 means this decoder will be on since we are giving e equal to 0 after negating here we are getting 1 means this one is active so when a1 equal to 0 and a0 equal to 1 what we will get as we will get d1 as active okay okay let's check it with the help of the truth table so here enable a1 a0 are our input okay and d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 are input output lines sorry 
okay these are the input lines and these are the output lines so so here there will be two case when the value of e is zero it means the first of the decoder will be on okay so when this is enable equal to zero first decoder is on first decoder is on so what will happen when a1 and a0 both will be zero then this will be on and the rest will be off means we are getting d0 as output similarly for this case d1 will be on and the rest will be now when e equal to 1 this decoder will be active means here it will be d0 instead of d0 we will get d4 d5 d6 and d7 okay so when e equal to 1 e equal to 1 second decoder is decoder is active okay so for a1 a2 a0 equal to 0 then d4 will be active because we have named this first output line of second decoder as d4 okay rest all will be zero similarly we can fill up this part also so this will be the truth table for the 3 is to 8 decoder if the video was helpful to you please like the video share the video with your friends and please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching